today I have a video about a woman who just went crazy and started shooting people in Maryland and there were fatalities. I'm, I'm going to show the video so that you can sit back and look at it. Here I go. We're going to begin tonight with a mass shooting today in Maryland. It happened at a Rite Aid distribution center about 35 miles northeast of Baltimore. Police say that a 26-year-old woman armed with a handgun opened fire on co-workers. Three were killed, three others hurt. Police say the woman then shot herself and she later died. It was a third mass shooting in the past 24 hours. A gunman wounded four co-workers at a software company in Middleton, Wisconsin, before he was killed in a shootout with police. And in Masontown, Pennsylvania, a police officer took down a gunman who had shot and wounded four people outside a courtroom. Chip Reed is at the scene of today's shooting in Aberdeen. Chip. Well, good evening. There's no question that mass shootings have become horrifyingly common, but there's one thing very uncommon about today's shooting. The perpetrator was a woman. Any idea what a number of victims are? Not at this time. First responders arrived on the scene just after 9 a.m., about five minutes after the shooting began. Yeah, two DSWs, one to the chest, one to the abdomen, one to the back at location. Terrified employees poured out of the Rite Aid Distribution Center as police and medical first responders arrived, finding a horrific scene. Seven people had been shot. Three of the victims died. Three others were seriously injured. The seventh was the shooter, identified by police as Snochia Mosley, a temporary employee of the facility. Hartford County Sheriff Jeff Gaylor. Our suspect is a lone female suspect, age 26, uh, who had a last known address in Baltimore County. Uh, she has died at the hospital from a fatal injury, self-inflicted gunshot wound. She used a 9mm Glock handgun. Her motive has not been identified. Crystal Watson's husband called from inside the building after witnessing the shooting. She didn't even aim, she just shot. It's so upsetting, so emotional for me right now. I just want to get to my husband. One woman in the building sent this text to her children. I love you, be good and take care of daddy and the pets if something should happen. There have been two other multiple shootings in Harford County in the recent past. Last year, three people were shot and killed at an industrial park. Two others were injured. And in 2016, a gunman fatally shot two Harford County Sheriff's deputies. Sheriff Gaylor had to make the announcement then, too. Both deputies who were shot earlier today have succumbed to their injuries. Mosley was not known to law enforcement, but it's extremely rare for a woman to commit a crime like this one. According to a recent FBI study that looked at 63 active shooters between 2000 and 2013, 94% were male. Law enforcement officials say the big question now is why Ms. Mosley began shooting. At this point, they say they have no motive for a senseless crime. Jeff? Senseless is right. Chip Reed, thank you. So, tell me, what are your thoughts about the video? What do you think? Share your views and thoughts in the comment section below.